Are you looking to buy a house, have a budget of 200 to 300,000 and are interested at the Tyler, Texas surrounding areas, then Bullard, Texas might just be for you. Today I'm in Bullard and I'm gonna take you around three different neighborhoods and show you three different homes at three different price points within the two to 300 range. So we're gonna start at the low 200, then go to the mids, then go to the highs, just to give you an, a really good example of what your money can get you here in Bullard. So if any of those things sound like you, stick around and we're gonna be getting into it right now. Howdy everyone and welcome back to the channel. For everyone new here, my name is Ronnie Withers and if you wanna know what it's like to live, eat, sleep, work and play in Tyler, Texas and the surrounding areas, just like Bullard, Texas, then smash that subscribe button and give the notification bell a nice little tap so you're the first to be notified any Tyler, Texas market updates. I'm getting calls every day of people just like you who are looking to either move to Tyler, move within Tyler, or sell their Tyler home. So if that does sound like you, please give me a call, text, or email, and we can get together, get on a call, and cut out all the stress possible to get you into your dream Tyler home. Now, today, I'm in Buller, Texas, as you can see around me. I'm on Main Street around downtown, and I'm also just by M6 Winery, which is an amazing place. Today, my goal for the video is to be going around three different neighborhoods in the price points of 200,000 to 300,000. So I'm gonna to go to three neighborhoods. The first neighborhood is gonna be a low price point, then we're gonna to go to a mid price point, and then we're gonna to go to the higher price point. So if you do have a home budget, you're thinking around 200 to 300, and you're considering Bullard, Texas, then this will be the perfect video for you. You're just gonna have a really good idea what is available at the moment here in Bullard. Just a quick note, the average price of a home that sold within the last six months here in Bullard is around $433,000. So this price point is gonna be a little bit less than average, but as you're gonna be able to see, there's gonna be some really nice homes and some really solid starter homes and even not so much starter homes available that we're gonna to see today. So it's outside the city hall right now. And this is the one thing, this is one of the things I absolutely love about Bullard. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Bullard is a small town with a small town feel, but so close to the amenities of Tyler, which is almost everything you could need. Bullard sits around 15 minutes south of Tyler, but it's its own little bubble. You have pretty much anything you need here in Bullard. You have a lot of good coffee shops, small businesses, you've got a Brookshire's, you've got gyms, you've got anything you can think of. But if we don't have what you need here in Bullard, you're only a 15 minute drive to South Tyler where you can get whatever you need. So if you want my advice, Bullard is an absolutely amazing place to be and I'd highly, highly recommend it to move to. And it's just amazing. Just look at this, this is the green behind me. We've got downtown here. We've got the police department over there. City Hall, we were just at. Uh, the fire department's over there. It's just its own small community. I absolutely love it. If you're looking for a big town, a big city with big city feels, don't move to Bullard. You won't have what you like. But time we move on to our first neighborhood and we're gonna be looking at around the, the low 200s, around 220, but we're gonna get there and I'll take you over to there, hop in the car and I'll meet you on the other side. We're starting off our adventure today in West Side Place. So West Side Place has a lot of very nice houses. They're all kind of starter houses. If we'll look around, we'll just do a little bit of a 360. They're all really nice homes. Um, the road is nice and quiet. It's bullard, it's not huge, so it's gonna be quiet no matter what, but really, really nice homes. So we're gonna be able to find some homes at the lower end of our budget from two to 300. One of the homes that I want to point out to you, just as an example, is this one right here so this home last sold a couple months ago for two hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars so kind of in that lower end of our range it's going to be a three bedroom two bath and it's sitting around 1500 square foot now the home's a little bit older so it was built in 1997 so a little bit older than some of the other homes we're going to be looking at but it's a really solid house made out of brick. A lot of these homes on this road are made out of brick, so you know that they're gonna withstand any wind or anything like that. So it's it's a really nice area and it's it's beautiful. It's just really quiet. People kind of stick to themselves, but you've got that community feel as well. And it's just an amazing area to be. You know, the homes are gonna be in the lower range of that 200, sitting around from 210 to 
the 250s, but this is a really nice area to be. You're right close to a main road. Um, you're gonna be opposite the middle school, which the last home that we're gonna see on our list is in a similar area. But all in all, a very, very solid neighborhood. Solid homes and a really good option if your budget is the lower end of the 200s. to note about living in Bullard is that because it's so small everything feels so connected so I'm just going on a nice walk now filming the videos and all these neighborhoods kind of connect so if you're living in a neighborhood where you're maybe at the lower price point it's still nice to go on a walk and you, you circle around the neighborhoods there's not necessarily always loads of sidewalks but you go on a nice hour long walk and you've gone through neighborhoods at the really higher price point, you go at the lower price point, there's parks that you go to, so if you have kids, you've got the Bullock Park, and it's just a really nice area and everyone's so friendly around here. So that's one of the amazing things about, I live in Bullard, so I absolutely love it. And it's just such a nice walkable place in general as a city or a town. So definitely on my list of top areas around the Tyler area. Just keep that in mind when you're considering where you do want to move to around Tyler. Okay, let's move on to our next neighborhood and we'll get to maybe the mid 200s. Let's go there right now. The neighborhood we're in now is called Nate Circle. Well, that's the area, the neighborhood's West Ridge. So this neighborhood normally would be a little bit more expensive, but if you really look hard, you'll be able to find homes in the kind of, in the 200, the mid to higher 200s. So just as an example, this home to the side of me here, this one right here. So it's a three bed, two bath, 1600 square foot. It was built in 2018 and it's worth around $267,000. So kind of that midpoint, a little bit higher than the midpoint, but most of the homes around here are new builds. So you're gonna find them being built from 2018. That's why that one's a little bit less expensive up until 2023. And it's just, it's a really nice and secluded area. There's sidewalks on the side of the road. It's really nice. So that's gonna kind of be the thing you're gonna get here. And it's just an absolutely beautiful little community and neighborhood. The houses are just absolutely beautiful. Just look at these, they're, they're really nice. And that's just an example of if you look in the neighborhood and you don't mind going for a slightly older home. I mean, 2018, it's not exactly old, but if you're gonna be looking for a slightly older home and don't want the biggest and best house in the neighborhood, then you are gonna save a little bit of money as well. So a $267,000 house in a mainly $300,000 area, you'd be sitting a really good point and then you can build equity nice and quick in your house as well. A really nice neighborhood and it's got that country feel to it as well. So if we look around, the entrance to Nate Circle um, and the community is just right there. And like most of the places that I'm gonna to show today, it's really nice and walkable. Sidewalks at the side of the road, it's just amazing. This is what I was talking about when I meant a country feel about West, West Ridge and Nate Circle is that You've got the nice winding road that leads up to it and then you just come into the community right here. So it's one of the more secluded areas and I really like that, it's up to you whether you do or not. So this area is really new, it's really up and coming. I would suggest if you're gonna get in, get in quick because the home prices are only gonna rise. Mostly new builds, uh, just a really high quality home that's that's given to you here in there. West Ridge. Okay, I'm going to show some video of the homes here and then we're going to move on to our last community, our last area of homes where the price point is going to be up towards that higher 200 price point and I'll see you there. In our final subdivision of the day, we are here in the Mosley subdivision here in Bullard. So the Mosley subdivision is a really, really nice area. It's right opposite the middle school. And we're gonna be going on to Ash Street, which is where we are now. Now I've got two homes to show you here. The first one is this one, which 
is kind of at the top of our range for today. That last sold for $299,500. It is a four bed, two bath home. It is 1,688 square foot, so almost 1,700. It was built in 2014 and right next to it is this one, which was also built by the same builder. So built in 2014. Um, this one is last sold for $299,000. $950, so right at that top of the limit, and that's sitting around the same square foot. So the same builder built both homes, but this is a really nice area to be for under that $300,000 price range as well. So you can't really beat it. It's a really nice area. I'll just give you a bit of a 360 while the dogs are barking at me. But this is a, a really, really nice place to be. And I would say it's a starter home, but you could be happily living in these homes for years and years. It's just a really nice neighborhood and a really nice area to be. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you very, very much for watching. What was your favorite house in this video? What house could you see yourself living in? Let me know in those comments below. As always, if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out at anything. If you like Bullard, if you like the idea of moving here, then reach out, give me a call, text or email, and we can get you nice and set up. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave the video a like. It is amazing doing what I do and looking around beautiful homes feels like a dream. I really appreciate the support. Subscribe if you are new and until next time, cheerio.